Okay, so you want to remote control your NVIDIA Shield or your Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or your on 4K Pro, really any streaming device that you have, you can now fully remote control it from anywhere on the internet. You can see the screen, you can move things around, you can install applications like you're sitting directly in front of that device. Maybe you want to offer support to your customers. Maybe you want to help friends and family, wherever the use case is, we now have the ability to fully remote control any device out there. So in this video today, I'm going to show you the quick setup process. I'm going to do my demonstration on my Nvidia Shield Pro, but you can follow this process on any other streaming device. I did do a previous video on this, which was more of an overview. So, but in this video, I'm going to show you the exact steps you need to follow. So you can now remote control your device. So to begin the process, go over to your settings and we want to enable the developer options. So you can then turn on network debugging or USB debugging, depending on what your device is. So as I'm doing this on NVIDIA Shield Pro, I can go to device preferences. I can go to about and where it says the build number. If I just press the select button there seven times, you'll get the message that you're now a developer. Once you see that message, you can now go back and this will now unlock these developer options. Now on most devices, the option you're looking for is just called USB debugging. But on this device, we've got both USB debugging, but we also have network debugging. That's the option you want to turn on. And we can see on my device, my IP address ends in 181. So make a note of your IP address as we will need to enter that into the management software. So you can then push the client to this. And from that point forward, you can take control of this device. So now that we've confirmed that we've turned on network debugging and we made a note of the IP address, let me now jump over to my Windows computer. Now, this is the software you need to install on your Windows computer, or you can do it inside a virtual machine on your Mac devices. It's called R Cloud Systems, and it's the remote control client. Now, um, you can use this software absolutely free for one year for one device. But if you want to use it on more devices, or if you want to use it after one year, the price is just $3 per device per year. So really, really cheap. So if you are supporting your friends and family or your customers, it really is a, a great price. So all I've done is I've just downloaded the software and I've just logged in, as you can see here. But we can see there's no clients added yet because this is a clean, fresh installation. Now, since I last made this video, the developer has done some fantastic work. You can see he's added in so many more features, lots more options, the ability to sideload, push applications. You can view logs, just lots and lots of more features. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the basic stuff just how to enable the remote control ability so you can then control your device from your home network or from anywhere out on the internet. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is we need to push the remote control client or the agent onto the device that you want to control. So the way we do that, if you go to where it says push Android apps to device, let's click on that. And it's now asking you for the IP address of the device that you want to push this client to. So as we saw in my NVIDIA shield, I can just hop back to that now my IP address is 192.168.0.181. So let me now type that in. 192.168.0.181. And the port was double five, double five. And I want to push the remote control app there. So let's click on that. Give that a second. That should then kick off some scripts. Now you can click on allow here. Now it says fail to authenticate, which means if I go back to my NVIDIA shield, you can see it has the standard ADB authorization prompt. So I can click on allow, always allow and click on allow again. Let's go back to the client. Let's do that again. So push Android absolute device, the same IP address, 192.168.0.181. Same port 5555. Let's click on push remote control app. This time, we'll give that a second. That should then complete the installation. It says performing install says success. Okay, that's now done. I can now click on close. Okay, now let's jump over to my NVIDIA Shield. And we now see this prompt here. So this is the first thing you have to do on your device, which is to give it the permission to draw over your application. So I can now scroll down in the list. Let's find the remote control client in here, which begins with um, R. Here we are. Let's click on that. That's now allowed. I can now go back. That's the correct permission. Now you can see right in the center is telling you that it has license issues because we haven't added a license to this particular device. You also have the ability to add the device name here, but let's leave that as is. 
Let's go back to the client and we can now go to deploy settings. So this is basically us saying we're going to push the correct settings onto our client, which will include the name, the license, and other configuration bits that we may need to make that connection. So again, let's type in that same IP address, 192.168.0.181. And let's now choose a license. So on my account, the developer was kind enough to give me a couple of trial licenses. I can now click on this. And I can now select one of these licenses. So let's just go for the last one. And let's now give the device a name. So this is going to be my NVIDIA Shield Pro, NS Pro. Let's just call that. Let's now click on deploy. So again, it's going to make the ADB connection to that client, to my NVIDIA Shield. And it's now going to push the settings we see here onto the device. So let's do that now. And now jumping back to my Shield, we can see we've got the license key added there automatically. We can see the device now has the correct name, NS Pro, and we get a message that it's got my external IP there and it's telling me the remote access is now enabled. So it doesn't matter where I am on the internet, as long as I have a valid internet connection, I should be able to connect in and remote control my NVIDIA Shield. Let's go back to the client. So that's pretty much it guys. And now when I go to collections, I can now see the device there. I can click on that. I now have two options to remote control this device. Either I can use the LAN connection, which means I'm on the internal network, or if I'm outside on the internet, somewhere else, I'll click on initiate connection. Now, before I click on any of these, it is advisable to click on video options. This will now double check to make sure that you do have the correct codec used to make that connection. So I think on certain devices like the on 4K Pro, if you don't actually select the correct one here, you will get a blank screen, but let's just leave the default. Let's now click on initiate connection LAN. Let's click on that now. And there you have it guys, in less than a few seconds, I can now see the home screen of my NVIDIA Shield. I'm just using my mouse here. I can now press the right click, which would simulate pressing back, back again. And you can see guys, I now have full control of my NVIDIA Shield. I can move around, I can select things. I can press right click to go back. Everything is working absolutely fine. Now in that example where, let's close this down. If I did get a blank screen, I'll just go here and choose another option. Let's try connecting again. So you can see with the NVIDIA Shield, it doesn't matter. Actually, I think the, the quality looks better on this one, but you can actually customize those settings here depending on what kind of bit rate and what kind of resolution you want. So let's just wrap this up to maybe uh, 1920. Let's see what that looks like there. Let's click on LAN connection again. That should give a bigger window. As you can see here now, I can see things a lot more easier and I really do have full control unless I want to remove this from my favorites I can long press the space bar here and click on remove from favorites and that then removes it so I do have full control of that device that's working great I can close this down now obviously the real test is can you actually make this connection if you're on a different network you've done this initial test you went to your friend's house or your customer's house you set this up now that it's all set up how do we now confirm that you can actually make this connection from the internet? Well, on my device, I'll just activate a VPN. Okay, so now on my device, I'm actually in United States, whereas my NVIDIA Shield Pro is in the UK. Let's minimize that. Let me just double check one more time to make sure I do have a different IP address. And we can just see that, yep, my IP address is now in United States. So let's say, for example, I'm traveling to USA and I now need to connect to my NVIDIA Shield Pro. What do I do? Well, again, I open up this application. I can click, click on refresh devices. I see my device is online. I can now click on that device. And this time I'm not gonna select initiate connection LAN. I'm gonna click on initiate connection, which means connect from the WAN or from the external network. So let's click on the top one. We can see that's using my internet IP address to connect. And I've now made that connection guys. So through the internet, from that VPN server in United States, I made a connection directly onto my NVIDIA Shield Pro. And I now have full control of this device. And you can basically repeat this process for any of your streaming devices. If you want to do this on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, it's the exact same process. Make sure you're on the same network for the initial steps. Click on push Android app to the device, type in the IP address of your Fire Stick or whichever device you want to manage, push the client, then deploy the settings, deploy the license file. And the next time you click on refresh, you'll then see the other devices there ready for connection. And it really is as easy as that, guys. So once you've done the initial setup, anywhere where you are, open up your laptop, open up your device, click on refresh, and you'll then see all of your devices available for you to manage. So that's pretty much this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I will leave all of the links in the description and pinned comment. 
I think the developer has made some other videos, some more detailed guides that you can follow. But really everything you need to do is available directly on the website. You can give it a go. You can try it free for one year, see if it works for you. But I definitely think paying that $3 per year per device, I do think that's a great offer. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.